in today's video i will just be sharing with you how i manage the money that we both make as a couple in order for us not to go broke in this economy because it is very easy to have money slip through your fingers before your next paycheck if you are not very careful and strategic with how you spend money no matter what your income is you can build wealth by spending less than what you make and then using that margin in the most efficient way possible to grow or protect your wealth we don't have a joint account but every money that comes through him he gives it to me hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for tuning in today if this is your first time seeing this face you are most welcome my name is josie over here i share family and personal lifestyle vlogs i share personal development tips to help you and i become the best versions of ourselves that we can become and i also do chit chat about very relatable day-to-day -day situations if this sounds like something that interests you kindly consider joining this beautiful community by smashing that subscribe button for more fun wholesome and relatable content if you are a regular on the channel i really appreciate you for always coming back to watch to like and to comment i always love to get some sort of feedback from you guys so that i can improve in areas that need improvement and also if it is an encouragement so that i can be encouraged to continue putting out more and more videos for you guys thank you so much for listening to that public service announcement <laughs> This video was prompted by a friend of mine who recently asked me to share with her how I manage money as a homemaker. She wanted me to share with her some tips on how I manage money. Funny enough, we've not really had a proper meeting to discuss this, but here I am filming this video because I know that it could be beneficial to somebody else out there who just wants to understand how other families manage their money or how other wives manage their money i'm hoping that at the end of the video you can have an idea of how i manage money emphasis on i myself and my family how we manage our finances that has been working well for us so far and i am happy to share if you're watching this video babes thank you so much for prompting this video i know you always watch the way i manage money today has a lot to do with how i grew up and also some of my experiences in my adulthood i come from a family where whenever you are given your monthly allowance that is it it is now left for you to manage your money well because if you waste it and it gets finished before the next date when you're supposed to receive your allowance you are on your own nobody is going to top it up for you this alone made me to be very careful with money because i never wanted to go broke and i never wanted to put myself in a situation where i am desperate for money to the extent that i will do things that i am not proud of just so that i can have money to get by before the next money comes in everyone has a different background and history when it comes to money and that goes a long way to form our mindsets around money and it also determines our approach towards money it is this different mindset towards money that shapes our decisions when it comes to earnings savings spending and managing our finances in general no matter what your income is you can build wealth by spending less than what you make and then using that margin in the most efficient way possible to grow or protect your wealth. In my household, I earn, my husband earns. We combine our income. The money comes from different sources and goes into one pot from which all the expenditures are being made. We don't have a joint account, but every money that comes through him, he gives it to me to manage it because he trusts that I am better at managing money than he is. We both have shared financial responsibilities. Like everyone knows exactly what they're supposed to be doing as far as money is concerned every month. That's for the recurrent things that we do every month. But whatever it is that we do with money, we make sure that we are prioritizing our family's needs first, our future projects before anything and anyone else also we are on the same page as far as our short and long-term financial goals are concerned 
and we are each other's accountability partner so whatever we are doing with money we make sure that we are letting the other person know that i am doing this or i am doing that and that's for expenses that go above a certain amount if you're out and about and you see something that costs say 50 pounds or 30 pounds or so you don't need to let your partner know that i saw this and i wanted to buy it you can just grab it but when it comes to spending certain amounts that are significant and can affect our day-to-day -day running of the home and our future projects we need to make sure that we are letting each other know so that we can both decide together if this is the right time to do this purchase or not there's no way i can talk about how i manage money without mentioning this app that i have been using for six years and counting this video is not sponsored in any way it would be nice for them to sponsor me <laughs> yeah it would be nice but this video is not sponsored but because i want to be as transparent as possible there's no way i can talk about how i manage money without mentioning spending tracker it is a very easy to use app i'm going to put the, uh, the the icon on the screen for you guys to see just in case it is something that you want to give it a try what this app does is that it provides you with the tools to be able to record all your income and all your expenses whenever money comes in whether it is from my salary my business my balloon decor gigs whether it is from my husband i always record it it has a section for income and it has a section for expenses on the income i have broken it down into the different sources of our income and on the expenses i have also created different categories for everything that i spend money on on that app that is the only way that i can actually know where money is going to and where money is coming from and knowing where money is going to how important is that to me as an individual it is important for me to know at the end of every month what i spend money on so that i can determine whether i need to cut down on some things that i spend money on in order to have a little more added to the savings or to the business because i'm sure you can agree with me that if you don't have like a way to track your expenses sometimes you look at your bank balance and you wonder like what did i do with money where did all the money go to with that app i don't even need to wait at the end of the month to receive a bank statement to know where my money went to and where my money came from because the minute i get paid or the minute money comes in from anywhere i register it on that app and the minute i spend money even if it is one pound that i spend on anything at all anything even if it's just buying milk from the corner shop i register it on that app and i do this every month at the end of the month i do my account compare what i registered on the app to what i have in my bank account and what is left i carry it over to the next month and that is just how i have been tracking my income and my expenditure as far as the expenditures are concerned there is the non-negotiables these are things that must be done every month like the direct debits since these are expenses that go out every month i have an idea of how much it takes because i have done my account i know exactly how much goes towards direct debit every month and there's a particular account that we have for our direct debit so every month when money comes in we make sure that we are putting a certain amount of money that will cover all the direct debits that way we don't get to miss any payments and get charges because the last thing you want to spend money on is fines and charges so if you can avoid that from happening it is best to do that and also if you are new here we have a business so whatever profit we make from that business we try to not squander it we try to put back a certain percentage of the profit into the business just to keep the capital growing bigger and bigger and then there's also another aspect of the non-negotiable things that we spend money on every month which are our living expenses 
everybody needs money to live on a daily basis so we have things that we spend money on the groceries the gas and electricity the fuel um clothes and accessories hair eating out all those things those are things that we do on a monthly basis so after allocating money for our non-negotiable recurrent monthly expenditures we also need to put money on the side for our living expenses we have an idea of how much we spend on all these things on a monthly basis this takes me back to my spending tracker just because i have been tracking my expenses i have an idea of how much we spend on a monthly basis for our living expenses it may not be exactly the same every month sometimes it goes up and it hardly goes lower because you know living expenses have been going crazy these days so it hardly goes lower it has been going higher if i'm being honest with you guys so we try to allocate money towards our living expenses every month so that we don't need things and not have them all of that stays in the account because we don't spend all that money on the same day so we just make sure that we have about a certain amount in the account to cover all our living expenses for the month and another thing that we also make provision for is miscellaneous like family support we have family members and friends who look up to us for support every now and then we have a set budget every month for this and when that amount is maxed out that is it for the month if you come to us for help unfortunately we won't be able to help you that month unless it is a matter of life and death we don't go above that set amount because there are people who will literally suck the life out of you if you let them once you've shown them once that you can be of help to them financially they will go and tell other friends and other relatives that this person helped me to do this and that financially and you will see them trooping in to come and ask you for one thing or the other i've experienced this on countless occasions until we intentionally decided to be very firm as far as this is concerned if it is something that can wait it will have to wait till the next month sometimes they don't even need just because they know that you have shown that hand of help to them they'll take advantage of this and start coming up to you with one million and one complaints and you might be shocked that this person is actually asking for that money just to take and celebrate their birthday or just to take and be doing dorime somewhere <laughs> guys pardon me if i sound different that is because as you can see i'm not using my microphone anymore i filmed this entire part of the video just to realize that there was no sound this is the problem that i have with these microphones you can actually film an entire video and finish and then you realize that there is no audio i've been talking for gosh i talked to the end and you know whenever i finish filming i just try to just have a quick play to make sure that the sound is okay and uh, i finished filming i already told you guys um drink water mind the business that pays you and all of that good stuff and i removed my camera just to check and there was no sound <sighs> anyway the good thing is that i still have my setup and i still have my makeup on so i can quickly just rush over what i was saying i was saying that gifting is one of the things that we make provision for because we always have people um either celebrating or mourning as the case may be we just categorize it under gifting it could be for to support somebody who has a funeral or it could be to gift someone on their birthday but we always have a provision for that there are times that we can go for a month or two without gifting anybody anything and there are months that we can gift like three or four people and there are times that our loved ones could lose somebody you don't want all of those things to come from 
money that is meant for your daily living expenses so i always try to put something on the side every month just so that when things like that come up i will not have to stretch myself too much to be able to show my support financially to the people who need it uh, or the people that i want to gift because sometimes they may really not need it but just as a show of love you might want to gift somebody on their birthday so i try to make provision for things like that i would like to touch a little bit on credit card before i round up this video when i just moved into this country credit cards are not something that even crossed my mind coming from back home africa credit cards are really not a thing and when i just came here i didn't have a need for a credit card i was just living my life buying and paying for everything that i needed to buy but as I was settling in more and more and I got to talk to a few people, they advised me on the importance of getting a credit card. So I got one for myself and that was just like three years ago. I've been in this country for a little over six years now. I've always been very careful with how I handle credit cards because if you know me personally, you know that I don't do well with discomfort. And one of the things that gives me great discomfort is knowing that I am owing anybody money. I don't have a lot, but I try to manage my money in a way that I don't need to borrow unless there is some serious unforeseen circumstances that requires me to spend a little more than what I made provisions for. Um, so I'm saying this to say that I got the credit card and I always try to remind myself that that credit card is not my money. Whatever I spend from that credit card has to go back to it. If I don't have money to spend on my normal debit card, I will not spend from my credit card because I don't want to put myself in a situation that I'm owing because owing is one of those things that gives me a sleepless night. I would rather not go for a holidays. I would rather not purchase something at the moment and buy it in future when I can afford it than buy that thing using my credit card and then struggle to pay it back in future. So any money I spend from my credit card is money that I know that is available in my debit card and I will pay it back just because you have to make it look like you are spending the money and paying it back. You guys know the system, you know how it works. And also, when it comes to taking items on finance, I only take items on finance because I need to build my credit score to a certain level. If not, the typical me will save my money and buy something when I can afford it. Funny enough, when I just got my, before I got a credit card, I checked my credit score and it was quite high, but when they gave me the credit card, it dropped and I was told that it is normal. Usually when you've not proven to the system that you are good at handling money, which is only proven when you have like a financial commitment. Say for example, you took something and you arranged for a payment plan and you've been respecting that payment plan. That is when the system knows that, okay, this person is good with money and that is how your credit score increases. So I had to prove myself to the system that I am good at managing money before the credit score started going up again. So yeah, I'm just saying this to say that that is my, mindset about credit card i don't spend it if i don't have it already somewhere knowing that after a few weeks i'll put it back and also i don't take any item say for example if a new iphone or a new macbook comes out today and i want to get one for myself i will not get it if i know that at this point in time i cannot fully afford it it is when i know i can afford it then i can take it and make sure that there is money on the side that will be paying for it every month that is just the way i try to manage my stress because owing people whether it is an individual or it is a bank it stresses me out and you know when the payment date is approaching and i have to start racking my brain 
about where the money is going to come from to pay for that thing those are some of the types of stress that i believe are very avoidable if we can just be very cautious of how we deal with money personally if i can't afford something i don't go for it i can take something on higher purchase arrange a payment plan and i'm paying for it monthly just for the sake of building my credit score i really hope that this video has met the right audience for it and i hope that it was clear enough if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comment section if you like to contribute in one way or the other feel free to leave your comments in the comment section this is a no judgment zone when i see a good comment from somebody that shows that the person has actually taken time to watch the video it always pleases my heart all the time to read from you and i would be glad if you can take a few minutes to comment on anything as far as this video is concerned and to those of you who have always been there watching liking commenting you all know that you are the reason why i keep showing up on this space thank you so much if you totally enjoyed watching the video i would appreciate it if you can smash that like button until i come your way next time stay blessed stay safe continue to drink a lot of water and mind the business that pays you i love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.